Alright, and we are back here for another War Rights video. It is Sunday. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Got one more event to go, and it is the War of Secession here. Now, this first battle is now the third battle of Yorktown, and it is now Richardson's division attacking the 27th Tennessee. So sides are swapped. So campaign-wise, that is the CSA team, and that is the Union, but I'll be referring to them as their in-game teams for my sanity. What little there is left of it. Let's take a look at these two teams here. Let's see, we have on the Union, Captain Knox leading the PB. We've got Fort Georgia under Lieutenant Sauce due to the event. We've got 8th Alabama under Ryder. We've got JD under Colonel Dees, 1st VA under Lieutenant Connor. Let's see, also JD under Remix. And we've got MB under Nitro, TB under Galfe. As well as Disco, it looks like. Uh, we've got MSG along with HL here. HL under Alex and TJ. I believe that is everyone. If I missed you, I do apologize. And live at 43, I believe. Um, now on this team here, we have the HD under Captain Dale, the 83rd under, I believe, Bluntest? Or maybe it's Cat. I'm not sure. Um, uh, then we've got Hazard leading the EB. IB led by Will, 32nd Ohio I see in here as well, but now everybody's strung together, so it's hard to tell. I believe King Bob is 32nd Ohio leader. Let's see here. Then we've got 20th New York under CJ. See. I believe we got 79th under Ricks over there. 9th Corps. Who's leading 9th Corps? Who is leading 9th Corps? Bratley is leading 9th Corps. I am unsurprised they are attacking then. Um, I believe Targray is in here from D8, the. Uh, God, SR. Jesus, get it out. And I think that's everybody. Um, if I missed you, I do apologize. Trying to see if I see anyone else. Here we go, boys. Straight in. Yeah, if I see you and I forgot you, I'll, I'll, I'll try to call you out. I think 2nd U.S. isn't is here, too, for Night Breeze. Just didn't see him. And it looks like a full push by the CSA on the uh, on their left, CSA right. And yes, that is Junk Dunker Church right there. And it looks like, uh, rather than try to oppose from this forward line here, the Union team is going to move all the way back to this line here. We'll see if this uh, kind of rear defense works out for them. It's giving up a lot of ground. Yeah, there's second U.S. Yep, just under Mr. Night Breeze. We ain't even made it to the battlefield yet, never. But a coward. We ain't made it there yet. Oh, That's the case. And the CSA is gonna continue forward with their attack. See if the Union could hold there. You know their spawn is right back here, so it doesn't really have a. Can't really go any further back than this. By the way, we've got uh, 279 on the server pop, 139 versus 140. And it looks like the CSA is going to cut across here. Are they going to go for an early cap? Let's see. And EB is moving on to the cap along with several of the units. Extend left over here, boys. Extend left over here to my boys. Now there are some Union elements over here. We've got JD along with several other units. TB's over here as well. MB. TB, so John kind of threatening the flank here. Now we've got 9th Corps kind of moving up, trying to deal with them. 
Pull back, pull back. And Prattley orders a charge, but it might be a trap. There's a lot of Union over here, more than he might realize. And here we got TB charging into the side of what's left of Ninth Corps. And they are easily defeated there. All right, counterattack is on. 20th New York, Coco's going to try and to aid him. And 20th is wiped out as well. But CSA has taken the point. And, uh, I mean, their flank is open now, but we'll see if the Union does anything about it. Um, there's still a lot of security on this side, so it might be harder to attack on the CSA left. Really, if you want to make a move, it's on this angle here, but it looks like who's moving up now. Now it's EB, Major Hazard moving up. Now again, if you remember, you've got two options. Either you could try to get the Union, I'm sorry, the CSA down to last stand in 20 minutes, or you should be recapping as soon as possible. The kind of two different strategies, you got to decide which one you're going to go for. Yeah, Union's starting to move up here a bit. That one man. That's fine. I'm trying to get all friendlies here. Now you got a little bit of time until the CSA reinforcements come in, but if Union takes too long to do something with it, they're going to piss away the advantage they just got. Again with that five-second respawn. You can, see, you can see Ninth Corps is already basically back in now. Because they were wise and left that flag back. So you've already lost a good amount of that advantage. You still have a couple guys coming in from Maine, but, uh, you know. You create an advantage. You got to take, uh, you got to actually use it. I'll set up on the hill, Prattley. Where's Prattley? I'll set up. Yeah, really just a holding action for both teams over on this side. Good open order by 8th Alabama. Minimize the casualties there. I hope they were. I think they were close enough that they were not in line. So, at least from my eye, it looked like they were. Uh, be careful. You might be firing on Flinders there. You gotta make sure you're aiming that way at, at most. Oh, those guys got hit pretty hard. MB. And then Mr. Nitro. Yeah, right now the Union's just wasting time, to be honest with you, unless the strategy is to try to... They're not getting enough kills, not nearly enough, if you're going to go for the uh, last stand strategy. 16 minutes, you got to really pick up the pace if that's what you're going for, and if not, you need to figure out a way to recap here and do so. You're not doing tickets. That's not what you... All right, I'm going to explain it again, because apparently that's what I have to keep doing. The more you kill right now, the more you kill right now as the Union... When you counterattack, the less you're going to get back. Because you get back the number of tickets that the enemy has. You go to even. So if you kill more now, if you inflict more casualties now without recapping, you are just hurting yourself. You are literally knocking yourself down. Why do you keep saying that, Kotel? Because I keep seeing it. And it's getting annoying. It's not all the same units, but a lot of these units have been in this. I think we just did a Cook's. <laughs> this weekend with, with some of these units. I think we did cooks for TSA, if I remember right. 
look good with that flag. Let's move. Hey, third. There is it. Hello. Ready. Jump back. Hold. Pull it back. Let's go. We're gonna pull back. Take aim. Southwest. Coming up. Coming up. Fire. Pull up to my left. Load. Push up. Push up. Push up. Quick. 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 Go. 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 Now, like I said, you can go for the other strategy of trying to get them down to last stand, but, you know, we're at 15 minutes here. How much damage have you done to the CSA? Or do you think in the next 15 minutes you can get the CSA at the rate you're going all the way down to last stand? Do that calculus as a commander, and you have to make your decision. As for the CSA, this is looking pretty good. It's pretty standard, but... Um, I like it. You got that nice thread of ninth core kind of popping out over here. Good security on the left by these elements. In fact, I haven't watched them too much. Let me come over and check out some of these units, see what they're up to. You got IB and 83rd over here. Some HD as well. You know, all you got to do is maintain security so that you, this side doesn't get flanked, and they're, and they're doing it perfectly well. So, as for the Union, I mean, you're. You're not tying them down. You're not doing anything. I mean, to maintain something of a screen is fine. But again, you either need to recap as soon as possible or you're trying to shoot them down. Which are you doing right now? If it's not those two, you're wrong. There's no nicer way to say it. You don't attrit yourself out of this fight. <laughs> it's, it's not with five seconds on the respawn. I mean, you could try to knock out flags here, but again, you're not doing that. You're not knocking out flags with long-distance firing. You just pick them up. So, you know... Maybe I could argue, okay, maybe that's another strategy, but. But again, knocking out flags is so you can, you know, either take back ground so you can either recap as quickly as possible or get them back down to last stand. So at the end of the day, it's still the same strategy. It's just the technique within that strategy. We know, we know, we know. Now maybe the uh, now another explanation. Maybe the union isn't too worried about winning right now and is trying to preserve casualties on this token. That is another possibility. Um, Prattley, Prattley. So I, that is also a possibility that the uh, the token commander 27th is like, hey, look, we're not going to win this. You know, we'll engage, we'll fight, but you know, I want to end this as quickly as possible so I don't lose too many men on my token. That is possible. Time we're pushing up to the crest of the hill on point. Oh, please left. I, uh, Copy that, Will. Gotcha. No shit. Load and hold, load and hold, load and All right, looks like the Union is now moving up. That was a lot of time. It might have taken them that long to get organized, but uh, that's not good if it took them that long to get organized. You got some good concentrated volleys, though. I'll give them that. Very good concentrated volleys has eviscerated the HD. There's still a lot of CSA here, but might be enough to get point. 
I wish they got this organized when the CSA's uh, morale was a little bit higher. So they get, could get some a little bit more back than they did now. But, um... So far, it's looking pretty good for him. Now, for the CSA, there's no reason not to be aggressive right now. This is no reason to give the Union any response. You know, don't give many uh, recharges. Again, they, you actually don't want to do that right now. <laughs> you are hurting yourself by doing so. I would actually not even shoot right now. I just sit up here, and if they're not going to contest you, don't even fire. Wait for them to hit you. You are hurting yourself by killing them right now. You see, that's all you got back, though, because you killed a lot of them. And now they're going to shoot you in the back as you retreat and kind of get ahead a little bit here. Now we're at 38-52. You know, still battle ready for both teams. Let's go. We're going to be collapsing in. Good, nice little forward movement here. I like this by HD. They kind of played a similar role on the uh, TSA when we did this on Friday. And the CSA is charging forward here. Kill them all, boys. Push bastards. forward. Push forward. Take the road. Take the road. I don't mind this. I, I think it's actually good. You know, they're able to cut off a good chunk of the Union here. And EB, if they turn around, this way, this way, boys. they got to turn around very quickly, though. Um, kind of receive this charge coming in. Oh, but JD's over here to hit them. So this is going to be a big old melee. But that works out for the CSA's benefit. The big old melee. And Union is back down to engage now at 3748. Now pull it. And you can see HD has moved up. You also got some other supporting elements over here, kind of keeping them uh, bottled up back here, again, kind of doing the, what they've been doing. And they have camped once again, this time on the engage counterattack. And we will see. The Union needs to launch a counterattack as soon as possible again, or go for the, you know, you know, getting them down to last stand. You got to choose which one to go for. I'm going to go down the line, get any scattered TV. Trav's to the right. We're down here. Appreciate Fucking yeah. HD doing it. Keeping them kind of uh, bottled up here, close to their spawn. Spread it, spread it, spread it. And uh, kind of picking them off as they come up. Surprised these guys haven't moved up to kind of relieve this problem. There we go. Good shit. There we go. Up and over, JD. Hello, Ryder. Oh, I'm passing. Hey, clear the road. All people are trying to move. If you're standing in the middle of the road, please move. So JD is moving up, but they don't really have any support. That is not advised. Might be just trying to draw some fire, yeah. But it's a costly draw, you fire. Again, you're on the counterattack, so it's not too bad, but you still got to be careful about wasting your tickets unnecessarily. Let's on the counterattack, but 
still, that didn't really serve any purpose. Nice volley there from the EB. Big ninth course coming up for a similar one. Let's see. Uh, IB with Will is up here as well. Shots on our side if you want to. Just letting you know. Okay, yeah, we know. We're, we're Make got, sure you have your little shoot down into one. Oh, we're like right there. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I was just in line. Wait, we can't. Line. It's just table line. Move left. Hug the fence. Up, we're in late. Move left. Over, yeah, left. Over left. Over left. Guys, clear the road. Get on the Looks so like Nathcore is going to take uh, Coco up on his uh, invite, which, um, well, TJ's now moving over here, but, um, I mean, if Union's not going to take the point, then fine. Yeah, you know, do it. Nathcore got a pretty good turn on HL here. Give him that big iron, TJ. Give him that big Again, how is this taking point back, or are you actually on pace to get him down to last stand? The answer is no to both of those, and you're doing, and then you're wrong. There's no nice way to say it. You're wrong. You are not playing the game well. Print it up. Keep up, Move it up. Here we go. Now, if you could justify your, to yourself that hey, this is in service of one of those two things, you're golden. If I don't see it, I don't see it. But again. You do your own calculus. Is it in service of those two things? Why am I repeating myself so often? Because I keep fucking seeing it. Guard, you have our flag. See what's up here. Here, here, here. Down on the right. Right name, get a good shot in. <laughs> so. All right. yeah. Also, civil weapons. You're going to soften them up. You really think you're softening up a five second respawn? Okay. You say so. Kind of doing a little bit of scouting there. Trying to see where they are over the hill. Yeah, and CSA doesn't need to do anything else. They're fine. Ooh, good. Let's see if uh, Alex can get a nice little uh, twist on these guys out here. But again, it's... it's Is it in service to retaking the point? Or are you going for the last stand? I'd answer no. Yeah, that looks good. You got a couple. You got a nice twist on them. How does that help you? Dude, that boy, that guy, makes some really good callouts. I'm not gonna lie. The only time he ever talks is like a good callout. Back. 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 Right 
I haven't really watched these guys too much back here. Who's this, 20th? I guess you just fell back to this position, kind of watching from the far flank. Which is fine, you know. It opens up again, go take it back. Right now, preserve uh, tickets. Again, this might be the strategy. The strategy might be, hey, we don't really want to lose too many tickets here. We don't want to lose too many casualties on this piece. That could be what's going on. I, I don't know. If that's what's going on, then the unions are doing fine. This fits that kind of strategy. Oh, it's Troy leading the uh, 83rd. And Union is knocked down to taking losses. This little crest and recover there by Mr. Troy and the 83rd PVI. Three minutes, 48 seconds remaining for the Union to make a move here. Uh, to be honest with you, HL has kind of made a nice little uh, bridgehead here. Or I guess this is MB. HL was up here. Now it's kind of a mix of MSG, MB, a few other units. It's not a bad angle for attack here. So the Union shaped it well. They just need to kind of get going here on this counterattack. And the more you kill, the less you get back. Just come back up to even. So... Uh, looks like they're going to start moving out here. First VA! First VA! Don't where they fucking at! Don't go that way, don't go that way, don't go that way. First VA, where you at? Oh my First VA, where you at? Hey, Connor, Connor, Connor! Connor! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, the plane is changing. We're not charging no more because. The, the lacing of the the pre caps to reduce losses. There yeah, they are out. quick. I'm thinking that might just be the Off best. Off the hill. This is a fuck Head high. We're gonna let them cap point. That way we don't lose uh, more tickets than we need to. So there you have it. That is a strategy. And again, I think that's based on the gameplay. I think that's a perfectly legitimate strategy. It's it's you know for the big. I, it sucks. You're not gonna win the map, but you know you probably weren't gonna win it anyway. And you know at this point, okay, we got to save the campaign piece. So. There it is, and um, there's a campaign reason why it's happening. It's hard to explain to the guys, but, um, you know, it's not worth those casualties um, in the judgment of the token holder, so. And, and, and to be honest with you, it's it's not a big deal. This unit gets defeated. There's other units there that can support, so um, it might be better to, suffer, you know, maintain some combat power and uh, preserve this token a little bit. Left side stick, right side stick. I know it's kind of like, oh, you throw in the match. I'm like, they gave it a try. No, they gave it. They, they didn't like start from that. You know, they, they tried and now they're like, hey, look, we looked at it. It's not going to fucking work, you know, so we, we, let's just, you know, hey, we got another map to play. Not to explain to the guys, but. Everybody else on me now. Melee move. Heard. Everybody, uh, Again, if you're right, interested right, in the big board right. stuff, um, it is also, I update every week the, uh, the big board on the uh, channel in the uh, playlist for War of Secession. So if you want to see what's going on on the big board, uh, check that out. Check out that stream. You can see all the mechanics and what's going on. And the CSA has decided to charge in. Not a bad idea, trying to get a few more casualties where they can. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, EB got hit hard, but they're still charging in. Come here, motherfucker! I gotta get you. Behind us! Behind us! Behind us! Behind us! More to our left. More coming from our left. Our left. Our left. Our left. That's friendly. That's friendly. Check fire. Brace it. Brace it. Brace it. 
Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. So, yep. So we saw that. Uh, it's a tough map. It's a really tough map. And um, I don't blame the CSA team for, I'm sorry, the union team, CSA campaign for making this call. You know, it's tough, but, you know, it happens. So there we go. Uh, first victory will go to um, Richardson's division here, knock it back to the 27 TSC. And that will, um, once more, Yorktown will change hands. Um, forget that city in the uh, Civil War that changed hand a bunch, a bunch of times. I think like over two dozen. I'm forgetting the exact name of it. I think it was in West Virginia. I don't know. <coughs> Stop talking. I know there's one city that changed hands a whole bunch of times. Anyway, um, one more map to go, and uh, we'll see. I believe it's a Colquitt, so um, see how that one goes. Hey, sea casualties are pretty low, so I think the uh, token holder got what they wanted at least. <laughs> 